That's right, ladies and gents. It's our our headline or one of our headline stories, one of our signature stories of the day. It's possible we have a new bond. At least that's what rumors say from the New York Post. Aaron Taylor Johnson has formerly been offered the chance to play James Bond. This dropped this morning at 6.47 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. Mr. H already did a video on it, but we're going to talk about it. So it appears that the search for the next James Bond is over. British actor Aaron Taylor Johnson is reportedly been offered the role of a lifetime as the shaken, not stirred, martini sipping secret agent, as told by sources to The Sun. The Bullet Train actor, which is a very good film. I enjoyed that. I own it. I think it's great. Um, and uh, yeah, he is expected to sign the, on the dotted line this week. At the age of 33, he will have a long run as James Bond. Um, Eon Productions, uh, obviously, is the group I don't trust, so they may screw this up. But Bond is Aaron's job, should he wish to accept it. The insider told the outlet, and the formal offer is on the table, waiting to hear back. So there you go. Oops, there's more down here. It says, as far as Eon is concerned, Aaron is going to sign his contract in the coming days, and they can start preparing for the big announcement. Um he, he was in a lot of things, Tenet, many things. Uh, but yeah, uh, Daniel Craig was Bond for 15 years, uh, five films. Every three years he made a film, and he made uh, several poor films in there. Uh, so at 56, he was in his 30s. I was going to say, will he go while. down as probably the, the least liked Bond of all? I mean, everybody likes Dalton more than that. I don't know. I, I like Lazenby. I think Lazenby was one of the best Bonds, but I'm I was going to say, I'm pretty sure he's like down at the bottom of almost everybody's list. Yeah, I mean, Quantum of Solace was terrible. Somebody made a reference to that in the chat. I'm a huge Bond fan. For those of you who know, I've been collecting James Bond in every format since they started releasing it, including, you know, from book to VHS to DVD to Blu-ray. I mean, I'm one of those weird people. I am a James Bond fan. I got to introduce to James Bond by my grandfather way too young for me to be watching the innuendo that are in Bond. Um, but, uh, yeah, so he uh, he underwent a screen test for Bond back in 2022. So there he is. I think I think he's a winner for Bond, but I'm going to let you guys weigh in on this. What do you guys think about Aaron Taylor Johnson in the role of James Bond? I mean, we we reported on this rumor, what, six plus months been a while. ago? It's Something been a while. like that? Yeah. So, yeah, so I, I'm not surprised we heard his name being bounced about, especially when people are like, oh, Henry Cavill's in talks. It's like, oh, I haven't heard nothing like that. And then all of a sudden, I don't even know, maybe I was one of the people who broke the rumor that I, I swear I remember saying <laughs> it on the morning show. Um, <laughs> Somebody in the chat says, uh, Anya Taylor-Joy is Bond. No, Aaron Taylor-Johnson. <laughs> Close enough. Might as well be. No, hey! I mean, is, he a bad is he a bad choice? No, but I don't know if. Oh, look, I'm not. I'm the non-Bond fan on the panel today, and I, I'm just a non-Bond fan just because I haven't seen them all. It's not like I dislike Bond. I just wasn't raised with it, so it was never like one of those things, and I get how popular Bond is. Uh, he's British. He's good-looking. He's not a chick. <laughs> he's mostly white, I guess, so what else well, there, can I really say? Really, there were only three actors that I would have better than Craig, I guess. And yeah, hey, Cavill yeah. would be the only other one, maybe, that I'd probably go with, other than well, and, else and come up with. It, it, well, I was gonna say Nicholas Holt, like Sandra Hammer, yeah, he would be a horrible chat. choice either, maybe, but uh, but I don't know if he's got quite the look for it. You need young people, though. This role is you, the you play it for years and years and years. Um, uh, you know, and I mean, he's got the look. Look at the little squint he's doing there. That's a that's a bond thing so i don't know I, I i think it would work um you know they had a couple other images there uh you know but um uh, stillian murphy would not have worked I, I know a lot of people were saying that in recent days i i don't know uh nick you haven't said anything bud uh man i i honestly don't really care <laughs> i mean i'm not that big of a bond guy anyways and so it it doesn't matter to me who they have on there uh you know who, whoever it is uh i mean i didn't see the last two so <laughs> uh 
I, I honestly, it it doesn't matter to me either way. Skyfall was Skyfall was probably Craig's best Bond, other than well, Casino Royale was very good. Um, but ever ever since they, Bourne was trying to imitate Bond, but mm-hmm. with shaky cam. And I think yeah. what happened is that infected the future productions of 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 Bond from Casino oh, Royale on. I so it's hate like, shaky cam. Why are you imitating something that a lot of the audience is not fond of anymore, like Dutch angles? I mean, there, there there's a lot to be said, but I don't know. Fifteen years as the character and Daniel Craig didn't really garner the kind of love that. Somebody like Sean Connery did, you know, or Pierce Brosnan, even Pierce Brosnan. Yeah. Yeah. yeah I like I mean, that's just it. That, that's just it. It was going to be tough for anybody following Pierce Brosnan. Exactly. Nick. Go ahead. No, no, no. Yeah. I mean, he, he was, he was honestly one of my favorites, <laughs> Um, you know, and I'm not even that big of a, of a bond guy. I mean, I like bond, um, but uh, you know, and I was one of the people where, you know, I wasn't completely against Atris Alba, you know, playing Bond. Uh, it wouldn't have bothered me if they would have got him to do it. Uh, I know a lot of people had issues with it, but me personally, I, it wouldn't have bothered me. I wouldn't have cared. I think a lot of it comes down to how the character's written and yeah. and how they honor the source material. You know, and they if the only thing they changed was that, I don't think it would have bothered anybody. Plus, I think Alba's like a top-tier actor. Yeah, um, yeah. You know, and 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 would have done a great job with it, but he's old now. And, and and you know, you need you need a younger person because this is a long run when you get this role. Think about, you know, think about fifteen years of Craig's run. You know, he went from thirties to fifties. You know, that's <clears throat> so a big chunk of your life. And there's no chance this film gets made soon. And they, it is rumored they're going to step back in time. I mean, back back, you know, into several earlier periods. I. Really would love for them to go back into the fifties. To be fair, I don't know, Tom. What do you think? Yeah, I've always said it would make more sense to kind of take Bond back to the sixties where he originated, because then you can kind of avoid a lot of the modernisms. And I mean, we've had literally fifty years of Bond where he's been a step ahead of the technology of the game, right? Like, because I mean, how much technology has been influenced by? things like bond and star trek for instance let alone you know obviously a lot of the times his gadgets are completely fiction or just a few years away from possibly being real but you know at this point i think you're you you played out Mm -hmm. everything you can in a certain way to where especially with someone like aaron taylor johnson if he really does take on the role yeah he is somebody i think you could he would fit in really nicely into a 1960s-esque bond I, that way I, you, you start in like 1961 and you got a decade to work with, right? Like, and even in in that era, there's enough changes in the world that you could play with, especially with right. modern, like, even through a modern lens. But yeah. Yeah. I'm just, uh, what I'm surprised at is the, the audience is not more in, in, enticed or intrigued with this because I would have thought we'd add a heavy b- battle in the chat here, but um, like, what do you mean? Like, I mean, oh. he's a, he's a safe, he's a safe bet. Is he Henry Cavill? No. No. But he's not a woman and he's not black or whatever, like I said before, right? So it's it's one of those things where it's like, okay, and enough people don't really know him. They've seen him, but he's one of those actors where you mention his name and they're like, who? Yeah, that's true. And you're like, oh, the guy who played Quicksilver and Kick-Ass and he's recently in this and this and that and the other and he's been in a billion fucking things. I mean, Bullet Train's probably the best one to bring up as an example here. Yeah. Right? And I mean, that's another thing. I mean, who are they? I'm I'm more worried about whose voice is going to be behind the camera than in front of more so, because that to me, I think is a bigger deal because some of the voices that should have been involved in bond haven't been. And there's people who would love to be involved with bond that, you know, maybe too big of voices for being involved. So, you know, Nolan, for instance, is one Spielberg's always wanted to make a bond film, you know, you've got like guy Ritchie and a few other people that you know um and um, um who am i thinking of uh, uh ant-man the guy uh Ed- edgar wright you know and some oh, other people yeah. who possibly could take on you know yeah. a-, a bond film it- it's it's one of those things and 
I'm not as big of a fan, so I'd rather hear from you guys and what you think. But uh, yeah, yeah, I just I feel like I feel like you want to be you want the guy to start off in his 30s and you want him to grow into the role. And if they're going to start back in time a ways, like in the 50s or 60s, mm-hmm. late 60s or early, I mean, 60s. even maybe if they get like David Leach, the guy who did Bullet Train, maybe maybe it needs a little bit more of a change of not just a setting but a tone a little bit. That's kind of what they did with this last Bond, right? It was set in a more realistic darker tone from my understanding i ain't watched them but yeah that's kind of what i gathered from the trailers and from what people had said so maybe you do need a little bit more light-hearted tone injected back into this into the 1960s and that david leach who directed uh, uh bullet train maybe that's the kind of thing you need to do right something a little bit more along those lines give it a little bit new flavor i don't know it's just a I, thought yeah i mean ugh. I don't know that you, I, I think you just need to put it in a time when pe- that people they they long for bring some nostalgia. I know we have back. a Bond fan in the back. Yeah, we do. We do. Oh, Next to Iron Man. Hey. He thinks he's James Bond sometimes. Dude, he's I don't know. Jumping out of windows. I really. That's how we're gonna walk. <laughs> really. <laughs> I'm not here. Let, Fifteen let, seconds. <laughs> I had to what? do it. I'm sorry. So I don't Ladies, know if I'm, a, I'm not as much of a collector as Culture Casino, but I'm a huge Bond fan, and I've seen every single movie that's come out since the first one, each one at least two to five times, at yeah. least. So uh, all I can tell you is this. As a Bond fan, look, I'm just happy we got a white guy. All right? So let's see what this guy can do with it. Wow. All right? Cause, cause there see what some, I said? There were some near misses, okay? I didn't know if we were going to get Shanae you know, with the with the thing in the garbage can, and you know, I mean, that last one, no time to die, but he dies at the end. I mean, give me a break, stupid title. I didn't know if we were gonna get, you know, Riva as you know coming back as James Bond 007. I didn't know if we were gonna get, you know, Elba. I didn't know. Look, <laughs> we got a white dude. All right, so let's 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 breathe and let's be thankful because that's what we need. And I know I probably sound racist as F, but you know what? I don't care. I'm just glad we got a white dude. I'm saying it. (laughs) And I think it's good that he doesn't have a particularly big box office name because as Tom has often commented, much to my chagrin over the last many years, I... um, Henry Cavill would probably not have been a best star super, you know, when you do see Henry Cavill, you think Henry Cavill in all of his roles, you don't just see Superman. I think this is a case where with this casting, if he does a good job, we should be able to see through his past casting and get the bond that we need that we've been waiting for. And look, I'm a huge uh, Craig fan, but you know what? As I was in the back listening to you guys getting ready to come on, I thought about it and I can't name, I can easily name three bond actors that i like more than craig oh yeah so i think even me who likes craig in a lot of ways i he might rank last even well i'm craig. not even here to dump on craig but at the time when daniel craig took it on he at least had kind of what aaron does here and that is you say his name and not everybody knows who the fuck he is right sean connery had yeah. that beauty going into the role too is that I he agree. is known as bond forever because that was where we learned of sean connery or he became a big star or whatever you want to call it where there on out it was it was sean connery in whatever it was yeah. but the only other exception to that is probably pierce brosnan but that was like the fans wanted it and they willed it into happening we, like it was it was we, decade long wanting that to happen and he almost was bond yes and then uh, uh falcon crest got in the way no 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 or not remington, no scarecrow remington mrs Steel. remington, remington Steel. Steel. whichever fucking one it was i can't yeah. remember <laughs> one yeah. of those shows in the back, Re- back in the day Remington Steel prevented us from getting Pierce Brosnan. Uh, or Before he was a huge star already, yes. Yeah. And then that show made him a, a household name. So, yeah. So that was kind of like the fans were just like, we don't care. We want him as Bond no yeah. matter what. And, <laughs> right? and, and, and they were and they were they were right. I mean, he he was he was an incredible Bond. GoldenEye was a great film. Um, I, I look, I'm going to tell you this. I mean, Lazenby for me is up in the top five. Well, I think that Bond struggled throughout the 80s because they didn't have Pierce Brosnan, to be honest with yeah. you. I mean, it, it, it was like a in some alternate universe somewhere, he was Bond for like 20 years. So Dalton, yeah. so Dalton wasn't a favorite of yours then, is what you're saying. I don't think he was a favorite of many people's. 
And honestly, no, my favorite just, Bond is still Sean Connery. You know what the problem is with right. him? Is he, didn't, he, he needed like two to five movies. Yeah, and at least somebody in the chat gets me. All right, so... We, You're not going to win this argument because... He actually has... Lazenby actually does have some fans. So, yeah. It, I I thought he was great for... A, You're not a the only person I've ever heard say that, so... 